Hey, my friend Sam here. So there is a fair bit of buzz about tourniquet conversion these days. I just want to show you using my digital manometer and a cat tourniquet why it's important. This applies to every tourniquet that's out there. Uh, we're going to dig into pressure decrement. All right, so this circumference here is roughly the size of my leg, just under 60 centimeters. I'm going to make it very tight, lock it down, get as many turns as I can. Right, this feels tighter than I would do to a patient, but there we go. And now let's watch this pressure over time. All right, so the moral of the story is when you put a tourniquet on, pressure drops right away. You may get bleeding to stop. It may get you off the proverbial X, but you can't just walk away and hope that it's going to continue to do its job. You have to watch closely, feel for pulses, make sure that it's still stopping arterial flow. Um, mind you, this system here, uh, you know, how close that is to human physiology, I'm not really sure, but there are some important differences. So for starters, this is a closed system. There's not fluid leaving the system, it's contained. Uh, these bags are not particularly elastic. There are some saline bags that are more rubbery, but this is a uh, fairly inelastic type of bag. So I think that the slow expansion of that bag probably accounts for a lot of the pressure decrement. Uh, how much of it is from fibers stretching in the chair, I'm not sure. But in a human, when you put pressure on, there are other factors to consider. So on one side, presumably, there's bleeding. You're an open system in that case. So you have blood going out. Uh, on the other side of the tourniquet, you have the whole rest of the body to be squeezing fluid into. So you have fluid shifting. And then lastly, my skin is more stretchy than these bags. So to me, that is reason to conclude that probably pressure drops even faster on limbs.